Uh, in this video, let's uh, talk about uh, type ahead block. So, if you go to the fun uh, input items, okay, and then uh, sorry, if you go to the groups, you should see a block uh, which says type ahead block. So, see, I know I already let me uh, demo that one. What has been done here so that you can understand what's the type ahead block. So, this is nothing but a type ahead block within the step. And then, so if we go to preview and then if I try to say Acme, so I can, it's going to pull up all the accounts within the Salesforce and it's going to display. So it's easy for me to select. So if I say some ED, then you know it's going to display the global media because it's going to match the ED in the global media and the same thing here. So if I type Acme, so it's going to filter it only on the particular account. So that way you can filter based on what you type. So that is not that's a type ahead block. Let's go ahead and configure. See how we can uh, configure the type ahead block. So type ahead block, you know, it, it needs basically a data wrapper, or you can also use the HTTP action also. So if you go to the actions, you can see the data wrapper. You have we need to have something to extract the data from the Salesforce or you may need an HTTP action. Suppose if you want to get something from outside the external system, then you can use the HTTP action. So we will talk more about the HTTP action later. Okay. And then uh, right now, let's talk, you know, about the type ahead, how we can uh, configure the type ahead using the data raptor. So let's go back to the, uh, the one which we made. Uh, so training, create, uh, let's go to Omniscripts designer let's try to look for the training the previous one so I'm going to training create contact let me pull this up so here we already have configured uh, the first name last name and the email and also you know which is going to create the um, uh, create a contact record so here let's add the go to groups and then pick the type ahead block okay let's see if we can suppose we want to try to create a contact okay and uh, and select the uh, we need to call contact is always associated to an account right so we're going to select an account here so that we can connect this uh, uh, contact to this particular account so let's uh, d uh, once we have this type ahead block let's name this type ahead block as searching account okay field label you can or display select account the okay. same thing I will mention here also for the element name select account so now we need to suppose if you go here you're not going to uh, see that anything just a select account if uh, type in nothing is hap nothing is going to happen here okay so now we have to see we have to retrieve the data then only we should be we can uh, display the uh, data that is uh, pulled from Salesforce okay let's go back to the properties again so for that we need to configure the uh, we need to configure the data wrapper for that okay so let's uh, go to let's create the data wrapper here so let's uh, configure the data wrapper you now go to actions and pull data wrapper extract action so this is what we need we are going to extract the data from the Salesforce whenever we want to extract data we need to use the extract action if you want to post the data uh, then you want to insert the data you have to use the data wrapper post action then the transform if you want to transform from JSON to XML or then then you have to use the transform action for now that uh, we have to retrieve the data so we're going to pick the data after extract action so now we are going to create new data let's do the uh, sorry create new data after okay so search we'll call it as dr select account so that's what we are going to create now select create dr select data after let's see if open it up now we're going to add the object so what is the object we need account object 
right so we'll select the account object so here extract path you can give it as account the filter you want to filter based on what you have to filter based on the name so here and then is going to be like so you can specify the input name so this is what you know it's going to be the variable which you are going to pass so that you can query using the using the name field so in the output okay you specify the you going to add this account name right so that's what you're going to select you can you can always type name select name and then output is going to be the name the add name here so remember this one is very important i will show you why where we are going to use this in the type ahead block now go next then building street and then building street then add one more field building state and then output is going to be the building state okay for now let's see three of them for now of course you can have the id too let's add the id you need the account id too so i will say this as account id okay so now if you go and the preview so you can you have to add what is the input name we get right what is the extract name we get input name so this is what we are going to you have to pass in so add the key where input name and select acme and then execute okay so you got this particular output so now this is what we are going to make use of in the type ahead block so now let's go back to that our omni script okay so you, i remember i mentioned so input parameters what is the input parameters we are going to get as the data so here the input value so so what is the data source so data source is nothing but this is if you go here this is the select name so this is what where that is coming from and then you are going to give the input name okay so this is what the select the element name you get from the type ahead block here from the element name you pick this one copy and then paste it in the input uh, um, field so select account and then the this is a filter value what is it going to filter on this is what we are going to pass it to your data raptor if you go and check in your data raptor you can see this is the input name okay this is what we are going to pass it so now go back to this one so data raptor post action let me you know give you a meaningful name let dr uh, select account okay i will call it as dr select account okay so here now we select action and the input name so one more thing i i told you to remember is the key right type type by head key so this is where you are going to give the name this is what going to display it on your screen so so we have let's go to preview let's see you know if it, this works okay and select acme right see that's what you know you got a display so you can you can click on the select data and you can see that this is a pulling up from the account id billing state billing state and billing street so you can see all these values populated so that's how you know if i type ed then it has to bring up the global media and and out out front media you have if you type s so you can get the multiple of them these are all the accounts in the salesforce that's why you are seeing all these values here so let's go ahead and and see like you know how we configure that one more time so we from the groups okay we pull the type ahead block and paste it here and then once you name the element name and then the field name is select account okay so we created the selected the from the actions we selected data raptor post action once we got the data raptor post action here we configured the data raptor post action here the way we did it is we pull the account object and then we are trying to filter with the name and then this is the input parameter which we are going to give and then in the 
the out, uh, output so we selected this 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 is the this this is the one which you are seeing here the account whatever the path you give in the output this is the one you are seeing this account and we're selecting the field name from the object and this is what uh, we are going to give the output as so and then this is what the name this is whatever the key here whatever you put this one it is going to show up on the uh, in the uh, uh, type ahead key we had to give it so now i selected for name and then if you can also you can test it here before you daily go into the data raptor uh, sorry in the omni script go to this of uh, the omni script and then you select the account name the field this account name is nothing but coming from the type ahead element name and then that is the input value whatever the user is entering so you are passing that value back to the uh, data raptor then if you go to the preview and then if you type it here so that's where you can if I type ed so that's how this is a uh, configured so this is about how we configure the type ahead using a post data raptor extract action in another video I'm going to show you how we can pull the same thing using the HTTP action suppose sometimes your data may not be in the Salesforce sometimes your data might be sitting in the outside of the uh, Salesforce then you may have to use the HTTP action so then that uh, you, you are going to use the HTTP action to pull the data from the type ahead block so one more thing you have to make sure is it won't in the data raptor I'm not sure like when suppose in case if you try to extract and if you try you know in the output side suppose if you want to put one down below one node down below suppose this is in the in the top node right suppose in case if I give an account name right so this is a another another node okay if I give like this okay so it's going to see that the name is coming in the one more node down right so suppose in case if you use this one it's not going to work uh, in the type in, in the type ahead block suppose if I go to the type ahead block now and then clear data I'm oh sorry uh, clear data and if you type in it's not going to work okay so always remember it should be in the primary node okay make sure that it is in the primary node to make it work okay so now if you go in the primary node if I go here and then let me clear the data and now try it with ED so this should work so so remember that that is one thing you always remember it should be in the primary node instead of going to the another child node okay this is all about for the type ahead block okay next video we'll talk about the type ahead using the HTTP action thank you